Welcome to another training video from himpact.com. My name is Travis Holt, and today I'm going to show you how to create a macro that applies a new font and changes the line spacing of the entire document using Word 2010. While building our macro, we will also assign a shortcut key combination to the macro for ease of use. Using Word 2010, let's begin by opening our sample document located in our Word 2010 samples folder. In order to open the document from the file ribbon, click File. Then Open. Then Desktop. Double click Word 2010 Samples. And double click the document Sample Macro Font Line Spacing Start. Let's zoom in so we can see this document better. Currently, Arial Font has been applied to this document. To view all available document fonts, under the Home tab, within the Font group, click the Font drop-down. From here, you are able to preview and apply the font of your choice. We will apply a font named Georgia. Click Cancel to close the dialog box without pressing OK. We need to use a similar step to change the font when we build our macro. Macros are procedures consisting of commonly used repetitive tasks that are designed to make creating Word documents more efficient. For example, one might construct a macro that applies a certain bullet style to a bullet list and also change the font size to a smaller font. Once created and saved, this same macro can be used and reused across any number of documents the user chooses. To execute a macro, you can use a shortcut key combination which is assigned during the creation of the macro. Let's build that macro now. To start recording our macro, first click View to display the View ribbon. Then, within the Macros group, simply click the Macros arrow below the Macros icon. From the Macros dropdown, click Record Macro. Notice the record macro window is now available. We will name our macro change font and line spacing. Then to assign the macro a shortcut key combination, we simply click the keyboard icon. From the customized keyboard dialog box, we press the shortcut key combination of our choice. To do so, hold down the Alt key and press Shift then L. Notice the key combination is displayed in the Press New Shortcut Key text box. Let's keep the default for save changes in normal.dotm. Finally, press the Assign button, then press Close. The macro should now be recording. Next, let's select the entire document by holding down the Control key and pressing the A key. Once the entire document has been selected, we then click the Home tab. Then, within the Font group, Simply click the font drop-down and choose the Georgia font selection. Click the OK button to assign the font. For the next task in our macro, we need to change the line spacing of the entire document to do so. With the entire document selected, we click the Home ribbon. 
Within the paragraph group, we click the more arrow From the paragraph dialog box, we use the up arrow to change the value to 2.5 lines. Also ensure the line spacing dropdown is set to multiple. Now it's time to start recording the macro by clicking the view tab. Then within the macros group, simply click the macros arrow below the macros icon. From the macros dropdown, click stop recording. Now, let's put our new macro to work. Let's use this macro on a document located in our Word 2010 samples folder. In order to open the document, from the file ribbon, click open. Then desktop, Word 2010 samples, and double click the document, sample macro font line spacing test. Let's zoom in so we can see this document better. Run the macro by pressing shortcut key combination Alt Shift L. And there you go. It looks like the macro worked. The font has been changed to Georgia. And the line spacing is now 2.5. In summary today, we were able to build a macro that changes the font and line spacing of the entire document. To execute the macro, we use the shortcut keys we assigned during the creation of the macro. Again, my name is Travis Holt. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this training tutorial from himpact.com.